In this video, we will study about Kornhoff map or K map. K map is very important tool for simplification of Boolean expressions. K map is matrix of squares used to simplify Boolean expressions without using Boolean laws or Boolean theorems. That is one of the most advantage of K map because we no need to remember Boolean laws and Boolean theorems. With the help of K map, any Boolean expression can be simplified in easy way. K map simplification method is most simpler. The expression simplified using K map can be implemented with minimum number of logic gates. It means that the expression obtained after simplification using K map will consist of minimum number of min terms so that the it requires minimum number of logic gates to implement it. K map can take two forms sum of products and product of sum according to the need of problem boolean expressions up to four variables can easily solved using k map to obtain simplified min term grouping of ones is to be done in k map similarly to obtain simplified max term grouping of zeros is to be done in k map now we'll see all these properties in k map considering two variable k map three variable k map and four variable k map now let me explain how to use two variable k map and how to represent two variable k map two variable k map that is 2 power 2 is equal to 4 it consists of four cells let a and b are the variables input variables let me assume f as output variable so here we have two variable i'll assume a as msb and b as lsb i suppose to write a here and b here or we can do vice versa also we can represent a here or b here so he so here with respect to rows the first row is represented as a bar and second row is represented as a similarly with respect to column the first column is represented as b bar and second column is represented as b or in short we can also represent it as this as 0 and this as 1 for b bar this column as 0 and this column as 1 this is another way of representation so here we can see that there are four cells the the number of each cell can be represented in decimal as this in this cell we have a equal to 0 and b equal to 0 so in decimal 0 0 is nothing but 0 the the cell number of this one is say 0 here we can see that first row for second column here a term is 0 and b term is 1 it means it is 0 1 so the cell number of this one is 1 here we can see that it is 1 and this is 0 that is 1 0 the cell number is in decimal it is 2 and here 1 1 is equivalent to 3 so the cell number or min term for this cell is 0, this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3. To make simplification easy, it is good practice to write cell numbers in decimal. Now let's see how to simplify a Boolean expression having two variables using two variable k map. So here as I said, to obtain simplified min term, grouping of ones is to be done in k map. Let me consider this point. So in k map, grouping of ones is done with respect to min term expression and grouping of zero is done with respect to max term expression grouping of ones or zeros is always done with respect to adjacent cells let me tell you what is meant by adjacent cells here this cell and this cell that is zero and one cells are nothing but adjacent cells similarly here i can say this zero cell and two cell are adjacent cells in short i will write it as ac adjacent cells similarly cell 2 and cell 3 are again adjacent cells similarly cell 1 and cell 3 are adjacent cells but cell 0 and cell 3 are not adjacent cells similarly cell 1 and cell 2 are not adjacent cells now let me take one example to explain how to do the grouping 
so i will consider with the two variable the possible inputs are 0 0 0 1 we have 1 0 and we have 1 1 let me assume the value of for 0 0 let output is 1 for 0 1 let output is 1 and for 1 0 let output is 0 for 1 1 let output is 1 so now here with respect to this output column i can write the boolean expression as f is equal to with respect to 1 the input values are a equal to 0 and b equal to 0 the mean terms are a bar b bar plus with respect to this one i can write a bar b plus with respect to this one i can write a b now let me simplify this expression using boolean laws it's a canonical mean term expression or canonical soap expression so here i can write f equal to here between these two terms a bar is common so i can write b bar plus b i will write the remaining main term as it is that is a b so f is equal to we know that boolean loss b plus b bar is equal to 1 so a bar dot 1 is again a bar that is boolean law plus a b so by applying distributive law i can write it as a bar plus a and a bar plus b now simplifying this further i can write a plus a bar is 1 that is 1 dot a bar plus b that is nothing but a bar plus b so this is the final simplified expression for the given canonical sop expression now we'll now we'll try to simplify the same thing using k map so entries in the k map is always done directly with respect to the truth table at output column here we have one so one is with respect to a is zero and b is zero that is nothing but cell number zero this is with respect to cell number one this is cell number two and this is cell number three so one is in cell number zero so we supposed to write one in cell number zero then here we have another one in cell number one write one in cell number one here we have zero in cell number two that is this is zero and this is one in cell number three so this is one in cell number three so it is min term expression we supposed to do the grouping of only ones we supposed to ignore zeros now let me tell you how to do the groupings so here as i explained adjacent cells grouping can be done so here one and one are adjacent to each other so we can do the grouping of these two ones so i covered these two ones now let me tell you how to write the expression for this so here with respect to this grouping horizontally we have a bar that is we supposed to write it as a bar and here one is present in both the columns so we supposed to ignore that right so we supposed to write only a bar similarly now grouping of these these two ones are covered here we have one more one so one now this one can be do the grouping with this one so i can do the grouping of this one and this one like this there may be a overlap of one that doesn't matter so the expression with respect to this is here one and one is covered with respect to column b equal to one so here the value of this one is b as it is present in both the cells a and a bar should be ignored so now we have to write these two by using or operation that is now i can write f is equal to the first term is a bar and plus the second term is b so we got the same thing by using k map this equation is equal to this equation the grouping of diagonal ones that is these two one the diagonal ones this is not allowed this is how we can solve the boolean expressions directly using truth table in k map suppose in two variable k map if all the cells are having one 
then we suppose to do the grouping of all four ones at a time like this if four ones are grouped that is called it that is known as quad q u a d that is group of four ones if the grouping is done with respect to only two two numbers that is called pair and if there exists only one that is called independent so here quad is possible the value of quad is always equal to 1 let me take one more example suppose this cell is having 1 and this cell is having 1 this cell is 0 this cell is 0 so here the diagonal numbers cannot be grouped so this will become a independent cell similarly this will become a independent cell the value of this one will be here it is with respect to row it is a bar with respect to column it is b bar similarly in this case with respect to row it is a with respect to column it is b so therefore i can write function f equal to a bar b bar plus ab similarly if any one of the cell consists of one only single one like this in that case also we have to do a independent grouping that is only one so value of this one will be a bar b therefore the function f equal to a bar b similarly suppose this cell is one and this cell is one so here also quad is not possible pair is not possible only we should go for independent this is one cell the value of this this one will be a bar b similarly this is one the value of this will be a equal to a this is a and this is b bar that is a b bar therefore i can write f equal to a bar b plus a b bar